Open educational resources are revolutionizing education, and it's exciting. If you haven't heard of them yet, stick around because this video could change your life. If you have heard of them, please comment below and let me know how you're using them. In this video, I will show you why I am passionate about open educational resources. It really all comes down to the huge impact it can have in two main areas. OER has been shown to have many positive impacts for students. As an educator, it opens a world of possibilities for how I can interact with my students. In order to understand the many benefits of open educational resources, it's important to know what they are. They are free. And by free, I mean really free. There's no paywall, you don't have to sign up for anything, you don't need to give away personal information or subscribe. There's absolutely nothing that you need to do to get the resource. And to own the resource, free is not even the best part. The best part is what you can do with them. Open educational resources come with licensing that allows you to do pretty much anything you want with the resource, usually as long as you credit the source. I'll include a link with this video to more information about Creative Commons licensing, which is typically used with open educational resources. For students, open educational resources make education more accessible and equitable. So many benefits for open educational resources have been researched. One of them is cost. Finances are a huge barrier for students. Even if they have provincial funding for their education, I've had many students in my office crying, talking to me about the impact of everything that they have to buy, in addition to paying for their courses, on their lives. Removing this barrier of cost for students, for resources that they need for their learning, makes a huge difference in their ability to focus on their studies. There are tremendous ripple effects of this cost savings. Hilton, in his literature review, found students using open educational resources had higher test scores, lower dropout rates, and lower failure rates. Hilton asks, because students and faculty members generally find that OER are comparable in quality to traditional learning resources, and that the use of OER does not appear to negatively influence student learning, one must question the value of traditional textbooks. If the average college student spends approximately $1,000 per year on textbooks and yet performs scholastically no better than the student who uses free OER, what exactly is being purchased with $1,000? From the educator's perspective, think of what you can do with the permission to change, adapt, and build on existing resources. Textbooks are really just one example of open educational resources. How nice would it be to no longer be limited by the content of a textbook? With OER, you can now customize your readings to meet the learning outcomes or objectives of your course instead of doing things backwards. If you're teaching a course and you replace a book from a big publisher, with a book that's an open educational resource, you can now take that book, delete parts that might not be applicable to your course or inadequate, and substitute that with either something that you write yourself or something from another open resource. Then, if you want to, you can share your remix with others. With OER, you can curate a variety of learning resources to make either the website or textbook that you're using more interactive for students. As more and more educators become open, Teaching can become more collaborative. If I'm teaching research and you're teaching research, we can work together to make a resource that both of our students can enjoy. Collaboration produces a better quality end product for the student, which is going to make both of our teaching experiences more effective. Open educational resources are high quality. Publishers like eCampus Ontario get reviewers to look over the content in order to ensure that it's accurate and of high quality. Really, when you think about big publishers, that's how they ensure the quality of their textbooks is they get reviewers to look at it. If we can do the same thing with open educational resources more and more, we will be able to produce really high quality learning resources for our students and for generations to come. Another benefit of open educational resources is that we can keep them up to date. As information becomes dated, we can update it because they're electronic, they're easy to update. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. In the description below, I'm going to give you some links where you can find some high quality open educational resources that you might want to use in your class. 
Please comment below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. I would love to help you in your OER use journey. If you would like to follow my OER exploration journey, please visit my reflective blog at insights.nursekillam.com. Thank you very much for watching.